Here I have a very interesting algebra question for you guys. And I got this question from this book again. This is the Math D contest. And uh, this is from the year of 2000. And here is the question. I really like this book uh, because I did a few of them when I was in high school a long time ago. But yeah, anyway, though, the question is asking us for what prime p is 15 a root to this quadratic equation. I don't want to say too much yet. Uh, just go ahead and pause the video and try this first before we continue. Done? All right, so let me just illustrate what the question is trying to say. We are trying to find out what p, right, and make this equation so that it has an uh, answer being 15. Mm, let's try. What if p is equal to, well, prime numbers, we have two, three, five, seven, all that. Let's try three and see what happens. So put three into all the p's, so we get x squared minus five times three, and then times x, and then plus 6 times 3 squared is equal to 0. And then just work this out real quick. x squared minus 15x plus this is 9 times 6. We have 54, and that's equal to 0. We can actually factor this nicely. We get x minus 6 times x minus 9 equals 0. And from here, it means x equals 6. And this right here tells us x equals 9. But you see that? This x is 9 equal to 15. This x is 9 equal to 15. So altogether, we know that. 3 is not the answer for this because we're looking for x being equal to 15. So that's what the question is asking. Okay, what do we do next? Try another prime number? Uh, you could because the next prime number is actually the answer. p is equal to 5. But let's see how we can actually legitimately do it. Especially, you have to understand the language when we're using like polynomial terms and things like that. So here's the deal. Whenever the question is saying 15 is a root to a polynomial equation in general, that means x equals this number is a solution to this. So what we can do is we can just plug in 15 into all the x's and then make equal to zero, and we can solve for p nicely. So that's the idea. So let's see, we will have 15 squared minus five, p we don't know, so let's put it down like this, and then the x is 15, and then plus six times p squared equals zero. So we are not trying to solve for x, we're actually trying to solve for p, right? And then just work this out. And here we have 15 squared, which is 225, this times that, we get negative 75p, and then plus 6p squared, this is equal to 0. Um, we like to have the p squared term goes first, right? The quadratic term goes first. So I'm going to move it. And in the meantime, we can actually divide everybody by 3. This is divisible by 3, likewise this, and so is this. And of course, do it to 0 as well. Now, 6p squared divided by 3, we get 2p squared. This divided by 3, we get minus 25p. And then this right here gives us plus 75. And then that's equal to 0. Now, factor this with the tic-tac-toe method. We need 2p times p to get 2p squared. And then to get 75, mm, let's use 15 and 5, both of them being negative. And I'm going to put down negative 15 here and negative 5 here because this times this gives us negative 10p, and then this right here gives us negative 15p. Together, we do end up with the negative 25p. Excellent. So, we are getting 2p minus 15. That's equal to 0, pretty much, but like, I should technically write this down like this. So, you see that we have this times that equal to 0, so that means this is equal to 0, well, that's equal to 0, and in fact, we just need to worry about this part. So p equals 5 is the only answer because the question is asking for prime number p. 5 is prime and it works. And uh, from here, we get p equals 15 over 2. But this is not even a whole number, so it's not prime for sure. So this is not uh, our consideration. Yep, so this is it. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, check out my other videos right here.